Do you ever sit through your online lectures or videos for uni and you're just slumped in your chair, bored out of your mind, constantly checking how long is left before you can stop watching it? You know that it's extremely important that you do watch your online lectures, as there's obviously a correlation between those students who watch their online lectures and those who get high grades. However, when your lecturer is just going, um, and ah, uh, it makes it difficult to sit through the entire lecture. In my new free course, 70 Hacks for Archie Students, I've developed this idea of active online lectures. It's this idea of controlling the pace of the recording so that you can stay actively engaged in its teachings. The idea is quite simply this. Using the recording's controls, you set the speed of how fast the video plays depending on how easily you understand what is being taught. For example, when your teacher is talking slow, umming and ahhing, going on a side tangent, you speed up the recording to make it more engaging to you. When your teacher is talking too fast, barely making sense because of the speed of his voice and it's hard to follow and understand and concentrate because he's talking so fast you have no idea what he's talking about and he just doesn't make any sense, you slow the recording down to make it more engaging to you, just like the previous example. When your lecturer opens a new slide with paragraphs of text on it, rather than trying to read through those paragraphs while listening to your teacher speak, which usually just ends up with you not understanding what he was talking about or what you were just reading because you can't listen and read at the same time. You pause the video to read and note it and then you can play it and listen to what he's saying so that you can understand it first before he starts talking. You have complete control over the speed of the recording and you can be active in engaging with the content. Rather than passively sitting back and sitting in your chair slumped just watching the lecture, you can have control. Now please note this isn't about just rushing through your lectures just to tick them off. It's about controlling the speed of it, right to the point where it's fast enough that you have to pay close attention to what is being taught. But not so fast that you don't understand what's being said. It's about finding that sweet spot where it takes 100% of your attention to stay engaged. Your phone should be in another room. You should have no other tabs open. You shouldn't be shopping on eBay or watching Netflix while trying to listen to your lecture. You should be controlling the video so that it takes 100% of your focus. You are being active in what is being taught rather than just listening to it. Also, don't be afraid to go back and re-watch something if you don't understand it. You're speeding it up in other parts so you make up for any lost time. But why is this helpful? Why is it helpful to be actively engaged in your lectures? There's a principle in the world called the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule describes how 20% of the causes come from 80% of the effects. And now this might sound a little bit abstract, but let me give you a few examples to showcase what I mean. This would be relevant in a lot of places in the world or a lot of things in the world. But for example, let's say there's a business where 20% of the customers make up 80% of the sales or the business's revenue or growth or whatever you wanna call it. Or in architecture school, 20% of the students are those that get 80% of the high distinction projects. 20% of the causes come from 80% of the effects. In this case, how this is relevant to us is that 20% of the lecture recording has 80% of the information that we need to know. Therefore, the remaining 80% of the lecture content only has 20% of the information that we need to know. This active online lectures method is a way to scrub through all those unimportant information to get through to the important stuff that you need to know. To find that 20% of content that gives you 80% of what you need to know. It helps you to speed through the irrelevant and unimportant information to get through to what actually matters, what you need to learn, and it doesn't make you skip out on important bits by just skipping through the lecture. Not only are you shortening the amount of time you spend watching your lectures, where you can sometimes spend half the amount of time watching lectures, but you are better understanding the content so that you can fully understand what is actually trying to be taught to you by your lecturers. So I encourage you to give this a go. In your next online lecture, remove all the distractions around you and start watching the lecture at a reasonable pace. I would begin watching the video at a 1.25 times speed. If you find that you're comfortable understanding what is being said, then speed it up by all means. If not, try to maintain that speed and 
and just focus harder to try and understand it at that speed. It's actually a skill that you're training and getting better at to stay focused and it's something that needs to be learnt. I've done this quite a bit so now I can watch my lectures at a two times speed without really having to slow down or stop that often because I've gotten better at the skill of focusing on something that's sped up. If you find that you're not understanding the content, that's okay, just go back and rewatch it. Pause it and slow it down to help you grasp what is being taught. Remember, it's not about powering through and just trying to smash through your lectures. It's about trying to scrub through the unimportant. Continue speeding it up, slowing it down and pausing it to remain active and engaged in your online lectures. If you want to check out some more productivity hacks, as mentioned, this hack is from the free course 70 hacks for Archie students. I highly recommend signing up for it. It's free. It takes two seconds to sign up and you've got 70 hacks which you can just scroll through. Just use the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate you watching it through to the end. You guys are my favorite and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.